CBS News confirms the Justice Department has opened a criminal investigation to find out how its own probe of Russian election interference began in 2016. The FBI and intelligence agencies found Russia acted to help President Trump's campaign, but the president claims he was the investigator's original target. Paula Reed is at the White House. Paula, what does this mean for the president? Anthony, CBS News has learned that the prosecutor overseeing this case will now have the power to subpoena witness testimony, documents, and even impanel a grand jury and file criminal charges. So this is a political win for President Trump, who for two years has railed against the legitimacy of the Russia investigation, insisting that it was started by deep state intelligence officials who wanted to prevent his election. But in a statement, House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jerry Nadler and House Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff said these reports, if true, raise profound new concerns that the Department of Justice under A.G. Barr has lost its independence and become a vehicle for President Trump's political revenge. Attorney General William Barr has closely overseen this investigation. He even traveled to Italy to personally secure its assistance. He also asked President Trump to reach out to foreign leaders, including Australia, to ask for their help in this matter. Paula, where could this criminal probe lead, and could there be charges? It's unclear what criminal charges Anthony could be filed against the officials who were involved in the early months of this probe. Sources have suggested in recent weeks that it's actually unlikely any criminal charges will be filed, but by opening a criminal investigation and gathering just enough damaging information, the attorney general could still hand President Trump a political win right in the middle of the 2020 campaign season. All right, Paula, thank you.